Hello, my name is Emily Carroll and I'm applying for the communications internship role. I currently attend Grand Valley State University where this fall I entered my junior year. I'm studying advertising, public relations, and applied communication with a minor in data science. In my free time, I am a member of the Laker dance team where I also serve as the event and clinic officer. Currently and in the future, I will not require sponsorship for work in the United States. I'm open to any Michigan location. However, my first preference is the Novi location as I'm from South Lyon. This position offered by Young Fong excites me for numerous reasons. As I hope to one day work in the data analytics field, this internship stood out to me as one of the main tasks of their employees is to analyze the results of produced brand content. I feel this would build my experience with the field and also expose me to data analytics. Also, I feel as though I have necessary experience to work with a brand's social media sites. Back in high school, I was our school's social media editor and have continued to familiarize myself and touch up with numerous social media platforms. Creating social media content allows for personal creativity, which is why I feel I thrive in this aspect. Overall, this internship, I think, would allow for me to further develop skills that I've expressed interest in in the past, all while training under an innovative and unique company. Next, I believe that I am the ideal candidate for this internship position because of my bubbly personality that I feel displays my eagerness to learn. I understand the importance of soaking up all the knowledge I can obtain from this intern position. Also, I'm a team player who succeeds when in collaboration with others. I value the strong interpersonal communication skills that I possess as I feel these are what allow me to work so well with others. Lastly, I think I'm a pretty confident individual who will strive to obtain all necessary skills for this position. I will not allow for an abundance of information to intimidate me. Rather, I am one who views challenges as opportunities for both personal and professional growth. In a more lighthearted form of a crisis, after my freshman year of college, I had a change in heart in my decision making. As I was a competitive dancer since the age of five, entering college, I decided to end my career. I wanted to try something new, and to me, that was joining a sorority. Immediately upon joining, I regretted my decision, and I wished to be a member of the Laker dance team when I saw all these dancers performing for our school. However, since I held a leadership position in my sorority, which was the craft chair, I promised myself I would finish out the year. But I knew at the end of the year, I was possibly going to drop an audition for the dance team. With this being said, I knew I needed to condition myself and hold myself accountable on the dance skills and technique that I used to obtain. I continued to brush up on skills that were natural to me after dancing for the past 16 years. After concluding the semester, still devoting myself to the sorority for the remainder of the time, as I had previously made the commitment to this chapter and these girls, I auditioned for the Laker dance team and have been a proud member ever since. This instance reminded me the importance of maintaining a steady and driven work ethic when your goals are on the line. And it reminded me that some things in life will always hold a valuable aspect of it. And to me, that is dance. It has taught me valuable life lessons, it has made me develop a strong work ethic, and has allowed me to work all alongside a team with the common goals. When talking about a time that I had trouble getting my point of view across, I immediately thought of my new dance instructor position at a studio near Grand Valley. In the past, I worked at a studio in Lansing, Michigan, where I instructed dancers ages 12 years and up. And in this role, I quickly learned that I would be teaching dancers ages 4 to 18, and a majority of my classes were 4 to 10-year-olds. When I started this position, I learned a few things immediately upon teaching them. It was evident to me that I needed to not only teach them how to dance, but I also needed to teach them some life skills and lessons. I had to adapt my teaching style to fit a younger crowd, and the ways in which that I communicated with them that allowed them how to learn how to act in a classroom, how to act with their peers, and how to treat a respected adult and their dance teacher in this case. As this experience started out a little rocky for me and quite difficult as it was something new to me, I have learned that it is crucial to adapt teaching and communication styles to effectively get your point of view across. For me, it is all about understanding the customers and individuals you are trying to teach and reach. Thank you for your time and consideration.